opportunity came walk knocking on your door right now, would you answer it? Would you be willing to open the door and start living your dreams, your passion, your purpose? Say yes if you would do that. But for many of us, has someone ever come to your door and you didn't answer it because you weren't dressed? You were still in your pajamas, so you, you didn't answer the door? Many of us can do that when our opportunity to advance in the world, because the law of attraction will, will line us up with things. We're going to talk about this in a minute, but are we ready when they show up? So I have a very special guest co-host with me tonight, and we're going to talk about how opportunity has been presented to us and how we've taken action and how that's leading us into a, a whole new world of living with passion and purpose and uh, fulfilling our dreams. So stay tuned for that. Hi, everybody. You're watching episode 49 of the Hangout with Penny show. This is a weekly show, 8 p.m. Friday nights. You will see right there, hang out with Penny. If you go to that website, you'll see the place where there you can sign up. You will receive a live link every week. Also, you'll receive the link to watch the recording. I want to give a shout out to all the YouTube viewers that have been watching faithfully and subscribing. I'm getting many subscri new subscribers, so thank you. Many of you making the hang out with Penny show a weekly habit. And uh, I certainly appreciate that, the support and, that, and um, the love you've been sending for me. And I am filled with gratitude. So thank you. The reason I started these Hangouts, eh, to have some fun and to inspire and empower you and uplift you. And I just wanted you to be able to share your Friday night with me if you're home alone. And I just thought it'd be a good opportunity for us to get together and come into my place and have a glass of wine. That's one of the fun things that I like to do. If you've been watching the last 48 episodes, now 49, one of my favorite things to do is to share the wine of the week with you. And this week, well, if you've been watching, keep in track, maybe this is your first time watching the Hangout with Penny show. And I set an intention way back then on my number first, number one show that I was going to manifest free wine for my show. Well, Opportunity came knocking and I opened the door and now I have free wine for my show every week. And so this week I have Inneskillen Late Autumn Riesling. We're coming into the autumn season. I thought it was very appropriate and it's one of my favorite white wines. So here's to all you. Cheers. Mm, that is one of my favorites. So before we get on with the show and before I bring out my very special guest co-host. I just want to touch on last week's show, episode 48. And that show was my tribute to Dr. Wayne Dyer, one of the very special people in my life that started me on my path of oh, living my purpose and living my dream. But I needed to know how to do that. And his wisdom and his guidance and his teachings helped me learn how to do that. So I'm just going to read a couple of things about people said about that episode and then we're going to meet our guest. Okay. So Linda Gannon, she says, thank you, Penny, for sharing the love of Wayne Dyer and how he touched your life. Yeah. I shared about how I met him and, and anyway, he's, um, he's, he's quite right about karma and oh gosh, sorry. I can't finish reading that. But anyway, thank you for sharing um, his message. And A to Z Point, she said, thank you for sharing your memories of Wayne Dyer. His limitless capacity for love will always live on. Absolutely, Linda. Thank you. That's A to Z Point. Joseph, Mr. Butch, he says, hi, Penny. Thank you for sharing your heart with us. You're the real deal. Rest in peace, Dr. Dyer. And I'll read one more from Romy Carlin. She says, very amazing. I love this that you need you, that you met him in person and gave him a hug. I'm sure he is grateful that you talked about him on your show. He's with you in spirit. Love. Thanks, Romy. So thank you, everybody. I uh, it was one of my very special shows that I, I just felt that it would be a good tribute for that. So now on with the show. 
Can you hear that? Opportunities knocking. So I'm going to bring out Marlene Keys. I just love this woman. And uh, Marlene, come on out and say hi. Hello, Penny. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for having me with you this evening. It's a pleasure to be with you. And, you know, Wayne Dyer, I, I saw him in June of this year. He came to Ottawa to speak, and it was an amazing night. He, uh, he, when, when I first got there, they said he was going to be speaking for three hours. And I thought, three hours? How am I going to sit here for three hours? And when the three hours were over, it was like a heartbeat, and I wanted more and more and more. He was amazing. So oh. I share your feelings about him. But anyway, thank you for having me on the show. I'm so thrilled to be here with you again. I just got total goosebumps when you were talking about that because, yes, those, those hours that he's on stage – it's like a blink. It's yes. like, oh my gosh, I just want more. I just want more. So we have all his uh, teachings and they're, they're going to live on. So yes. thank you for sharing that. So yay. So Marlene, <laughs> I'm just going to share with the audience a little bit about how we became connected. And I'll be brief because this is a 30 minute show for all you that are just tuning in. We're here for 30 minutes. And so Marlene, I saw you on a a video you were with Michael Loge and you were it was a spotlight video and you were talking about your law of attraction business and I was just in transition at the time and I really wanted to do I you know I've been following Michael Loge and I really wanted to do what he did I wanted to get on stage and I wanted to teach people the way he did and I wanted to be like a mini Michael <laughs> but at that time I thought that that was just something out of my reach but I reached out to you <laughs> I reached out to you because you're from Ottawa so you were close to me and I thought I had a better chance and I reached out to you in your words were just it changed you changed so much of my thinking by saying do you know that for sure because I said I can never be a facilitator because Michael never does anything in Canada anymore and you're like do you know that for sure you made me think you made me ask questions and because I switched the way I was thinking. You opened up a whole new world for me. And guess what? Opportunities just started showing up. Do you remember that, Marlene? I remember it like it was yesterday, Penny. <laughs> and we've stayed connected. We've stayed connected. When I was given the opportunity then to go out to Vancouver to become a certified law of attraction facilitator, just like you were mm -hmm. from Michael Loge, you were there. You went out to be kind of like his assistant for the the certification program, and I met you in person, mm -hmm. and uh, we hit it off right away. So we stayed connected for all these years, and opportunities just keep showing up. So Marlene, yes, I've been talking about my law of attraction business for the last forty nine episodes. How about would you be interested in sharing your story a little bit about how you've evolved as far as your law of attraction business and and what kind of opportunities have come to you along the way? Sure. Oh, I'd be happy to. Thank you, Penny. I um, started my career actually as a dietitian. I went to school and became a dietitian and um, quickly learned that I didn't really want to work in a hospital as a dietitian, but wanted to work more in a business environment and ended up working in the pharmaceutical industry and did that for most of my career, Penny. I spent it in senior sales and marketing positions in the pharmaceutical industry. Um, but when I got married and I had my young daughter, the, the long hours and the weren't that appealing to me anymore. And I, I, I longed for a work environment that was more flexible and more accommodating to my family. And it was around that time that I was having that I, those ideas that I had the chance to meet Bob Proctor, actually, in person. And he was the one that first introduced me to Law of Attraction. And I... Well, I remember when I learned it, that, you know, the notion that what you think about matters, that your thoughts are powerful, that what, what you think is actually attracting back to you experiences and situations and people and opportunities. I, 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 I knew I had found something that I had been looking for for a very long time. I was so excited about, about, about the learning, about applying it to my life, which I started to do. And then, then I, of course, wanted to teach it. I wanted to teach it because it was working for me in so many areas of my life that I wanted to teach it. And similar to you, Penny, I had this, I met Michael Lozier and I wanted to be just like him. <laughs> you know, I wanted, to, I wanted to be on stage and I wanted to have clients and I wanted to do da, 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 da. And um, 
I, I ended up leaving the pharmaceutical industry and I got my training with Michael and I, I did two things at the same time. I became a consultant and I started up my own law of attraction business simultaneously. I, um, and it was wonderful because I had a steady source of income as a consultant while I could build my law of attraction business. And I loved the transition at the time, Penny, because working as a consultant and building my law of attraction business, I was able to work from home, which is something I've always wanted to do. I was able to um, you know, choose the contracts that I wanted, choose the people that I wanted to work with. I was able to um, you know, try to start building something on my own. And it was definitely, I, I felt very empowered to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. um, but as you and I both know, um, Things change over time. You know, things change over time. I wanted Penny so, I wanted so badly to have my law of attraction business prosper. Mm -hmm. I, I wanted it to be like that. And you know what, I'll be honest with you and with all your, all your guests. I've, I've been building my law of attraction business since 2009. Mm -hmm. And it, did, it wasn't scaling the way I wanted it to. And it's very hard work, as you know, trying to uh, find clients, attract clients, um, find public speaking events getting people to come to your events, it's a lot of work. I, you know, I didn't have a book that you know, Oprah talked about. I, I was starting from a very different place. And I felt a bit discouraged after time. I, I, thought, I thought, what's wrong? I'm, I'm teaching law of the traction, but I can't seem to make this business work for me. Yeah. And I know you and I have had conversations about this sort of thing, so I know you understand what I'm, what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Um, but what's interesting about the law of attraction, and I, I still am such a lover and believer in the law of attraction, I find that over time, my understanding of it and my practice of it has changed to instead of telling the universe, I want a law of attraction practice, I want to help people, I want to have clients, I want to be on stage, I want, to, I want it to look exactly like this. Um, I think almost in the doing and being so specific about the asking, it, it's almost like I was feeling like I was saying, I'm not really happy with the way I'm doing things right now. I, I want it to be like this. And there's an aspect of that wanting that seems to hold things farther away from you rather than bringing them closer to you. <clears throat> and, and it's a learning that I've had that, that I think we all probably need to go through, which is I got to a point where I said, Okay, universe, you know, show me, show me what it is I, I, I meant to do. Show me how I can serve. I still knew, Penny, that I wanted to have a work environment that was flexible, that I wanted to have a work environment that allowed me to, to work with wonderful people like yourself. I wanted, a, um, I wanted to make money. I wanted to make lots of money, you know, and I, I think the more money we can make, the more we're able to help other people. So I didn't have any problem with that. But instead of telling the universe how I wanted that to be delivered to me, I sort of surrendered it over. And I, I said, I have these desires, but show me. Show me the way. Does that make sense, Penny? Oh, I love that, Marlene, because that is my favorite expression. And I tell people that I work with that all, show me. Show me. But you said something very key where, where you're talking about you were, you know, you were wanting this and you were wanting that, but yet the underlying vibration was you, you didn't have it. You didn't have it. And so we really get what we vibrate. Your dominant vibration was the lack of the, the prosper, the prosperity of the business, the lack of the clients, the lack of, so we can, in our attempt, and this is what I think, Marlene, maybe you could touch on this. I think this is really key in our attempt to go after our desires. If we have that underlying reservation that this could be difficult, that's what's going to show up in our life. Yeah, I, I agree, absolutely. And I, I find that the less I, the less I define it and the more I'm open to to what comes my way, then the more things come my way and the more productive I am and the more lucrative the opportunities become. Because what happened, Penny, was, you know, I was at a point where I was doing my contracting work and I was really letting my law of attraction business kind of slow down. I really wasn't promoting it as much. I was getting very tired of it. And I, that's when I said to the universe, okay, what, what's next for me? How, how does this work? 
And, and it was at that time that an opportunity with a, a company called Jeunesse, which is a network marketing organization, I swear, Penny, it, it fell on my lap. I, I didn't ask for it specifically. I wasn't looking for it specifically. But it came to me in such an easy fashion that it, uh, it makes me chuckle. And, you know, Jeunesse is a network marketing organization, which um, I've always loved the network marketing or, uh, form of business. I think it's a brilliant form of commerce. And, and the more I learned about it, I, it was very clear to me that it was everything that I had been wanting in the past, meaning that I can work from home. I can choose the people that I work with. I can work as hard as I want or as little as I want. There are tax advantages. The thing I love about it that I don't have with my current consulting business is that it offers the potential for residual income, yes. meaning that I don't always have to be working in order to earn an income. I, I, don't get me wrong, I have to work hard, but I build a network of people who I support and they support me, and the money can continue to come even when I'm not working as hard as I may be working at another time. It was a missing element that I always wanted. And at Penny, it came to me like, boom, here it is. And had I, had I asked specifically for, you know, I, I never would have imagined that I would say, give me this universe, give me this kind of opportunity. But here, here it is. And I, I have a team of people, the leaders of which are the, you know, top in Canada. I have great support. I have people like you on my team who uh, I like to work with and I get to choose how to work with them. The products are fantastic. So, so it's an industry that, that I believe um, was suited for me and it's a way that I can share with other people. It's a way that I can reach other people. It's a way that I can help other people. The products are fantastic. Um, and, uh, and, and the very cool thing, Penny, is, is that I take the law of attraction with me now. I, I'm not teaching the law of attraction as I was before, but it is part of how I do business. It's part of how I manage a team. It's part of how I think about attracting clients. It's about how I release whether somebody thinks my business is a good idea or not. It's, it's ingrained in every aspect of what I do and what I think and what I feel and how I speak. Um, and so, so it's beautiful because I still have my law of attraction business, but now it's in a way that um, that is supportive as opposed to trying to push it to be the thing, if that makes any sense. I don't know if I worded that clearly. Oh, um, it makes it makes terrific sense. I just want to acknowledge June Kellogg because I saw her here earlier. So she's in New Jersey and she's sipping on a glass of Cabernet. So hi, June. Thank you very much. Hi, um, June. Oops. I just... Are you still there, Marlene? I'm here. I'm no, here. No. Okay. <laughs> um, yes, and and I just, <laughs> I just want to mention what you were saying is so important because for my law of attraction business, the purpose that the reason why I began way back why I wanted to is because I wanted, I wanted to change my own life, but I wanted to be able to help others give them tools and direction on how to change theirs because it comes from a mindset. It comes by the way we think and it comes by the words we use. And that's why I became a coach because I wanted to coach people through it. And, but at the same time, it was like, I really want to make an income. I really want to support. I want to think long term, and I wanted to find different ways to get multiple streams of income. And I wanted to find ways to get passive income. And I wanted to be able to share that and be able to help others do the same. And when you sent me an email, I think I was just heading to England. Yes, you were. I was just on my way to England, and you sent me this email, and you said, Penny, I've been thinking about you, and I have a feeling this is going to be in total alignment to what you are wanting. And so you piqued my interest. And when I got back, I opened up that email, and I thought, Marlene, I need to speak with you because the beauty of this company is it changes lives. We're not selling things. We are being of service. We are changing people's lives. The products have allowed people 
that have been due to different like skin problems for example they couldn't wear shorts they could, the products have changed their life totally others you know they just want to make a little bit of income easy to do others want to make a full-time career out of it and and get into the seven-figure business they've done it mm -hmm. and you're right the support is there the support mm -hmm. is there but something nice so, penny about the 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 business this type of business too is that it's very cooperative which is something that you don't always experience in in every type of organization and it's beautiful because you know if if I want to succeed, I have to help you succeed. If you want to succeed, you have to help other people succeed. Um, and that has not always been my experience in past organizations because, you know, sometimes your boss wants you to be really good but not too good because then you might take his position. Yes. And it, it doesn't happen here because, you know, if you want to do better than me, that's fabulous and it, it has no impact. In fact, it helps me if you do the best, if you can be the best that you can be. It's a win-win for everyone. So it's not like, you know, Penny, there's a pie and you get one piece and I get one piece. It's like how the pie is infinite. Um, and so it, it, it was such a fit for me. And I, and, and I, I, had, a, I had a hunch, Penny, it was going to be a fit for you as well. But the other thing that the law of attraction has taught me is just about releasing, you know, who it's a fit for and who it's not a fit for. Um, because it's definitely not a business for everyone. I'll be the first to say that. But for those that are entrepreneurial in nature, those people who um, are looking for a plan B, those people who have a sense of um, excitement and encouragement, this is a fabulous, this is a fabulous uh, opportunity. That's right. And I love that word opportunity. Because <laughs> I was looking for an opportunity, but I didn't know what either. Because Marlene, working from home, sometimes we can feel isolated. We want to do our own business. We have this passion, and we want to we want to share the world, share, you know, our passion with the world. But sometimes it's you're alone. You feel like you're alone. Yes. And I, I was looking for something to fill that. And I thought, I'm going to go back out on stage speaking. I'm going to go back and do this. I'm going to do And it was like, oh. And then this opportunity came and I thought, this is totally in alignment to what I have been asking for. Only like, like you, never in a million years would I have thought. Because in my mind, it was like network marketing. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> But I have done so much research since the time you first mentioned this to me. And it's the way of the future. If you really want to set your path to be able to have financial security, as well as helping others create that for themselves, this is the way to do it. Mm -hmm. I've seen the aspects of it that, that as I looked into it and, and as I run my business, there's so many law of attraction principles that I apply to the way I think about this business. As an example, you know, network marketing, I agree with you, it is the way of the future, but there's so many people that um, are afraid of it or it has a stigma about it. But my law of attraction training teaches me that the most important thing is what I think. The most important thing is how I feel about, about whatever it is I'm doing or saying or participating in and to let the others have their opinion without affecting my own thoughts, without, without affecting my own vibration is the law of attraction word we use. So, you know, that is one aspect of how law of attraction can really be applicable in this environment. Um, the other had a really interesting experience with another teammate of mine. We were at a, um, we were at a conference um, about a week ago, hundreds of people at this conference. And my teammate had, we'd had conversations because she had said to me a few times, she had a limiting belief, Penny, that, that our products, the Jeunesse products were very expensive. Oh, they're US dollars, they're very expensive, who's going to buy that, blah, blah, blah. So we're at this conference, and at the intermission of this conference, the, the person who was leading the conference directed the participants to his tables at the back where he was selling books and CDs and webinars and conferences. Some of the items were very expensive. They were all in US dollars. So at the intermission, my friend and I walked to the back of the room and what did we see? The people in the, in the audience were literally running to these tables. It was pandemonium at the tables. People, <laughs> they couldn't give the speaker their money 
in, they were asking in US dollars, they couldn't give their money and their credit cards fast enough. You could barely get to the table. So I stood there with my partner and I said, okay, let's just pause here for a minute. I, I want you to just take this all in. I want you to see what's happening here. I want you to think about your limiting belief, which is our products are too expensive. And I want you to see how people are throwing money at these very expensive products in US dollars. Breathe in this energy. Breathe in this abundance of how the, the opportunity is there. The people are there. We, you just have to be a match to those people and they will come. So, so there's so many things I've learned about law of attraction that, that I have taught, but now I'm applying to this business. And it feels right, Penny. It just it feels right. I know it feels that way for you too. It just feels right now. We're in the right, we're in the right place right now. I feel happy. I feel very happy with this place. Mm hmm it feels really good and and that's the reason why I wanted to I asked you to come on and, and let's do this hangout tonight is because I just want people to realize that opportunities can show up in many different forms but just when something shows up stop and pause and think about it for a moment mm -hmm. rather than just like push it away it's like oh I don't have time for that or I'm too old for that I can't we start getting our limiting beliefs involved. It's like, wait a minute, I've been asking for something. This has shown up in my life. Mm -hmm. Is this something that's in alignment to what I'm asking for? Mm -hmm. I was asking for a way to have support. I was asking for a way that I would be able to share what I know with people. I was asking for ways that I would be able to coach people. I was asking for ways that I would be able to incorporate my law of attraction training and, and help others develop their own business. and you know I've been doing coaching for businesses as well and and I just thought but I wanted also to find a way that I could really capitalize on that and generate residual income mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this was the way and to I do made it. more money in my jeunesse business in the early time that I've been with jeunesse than I, in that same early time period of my law of attraction business bar none mm. absolutely, absolutely. And it didn't. It doesn't feel like work. I wanted to touch on that. That's another point I was going to make because you said, "Yeah, it's hard," but there's a difference between hard work that feels like hard work, yes. and you're pushing. There's a law of attraction thing again. Yes. It's like you're pushing and you're pushing after something, as opposed to, yeah, like you know, we've got to put the time in, we've got to put the hours in, but it's different, right? It's like things are coming to us, so now we're doing yes. to to keep that coming. Yes, and here's another law of attraction um, uh, application that I apply to my network marketing business, which is, um, I don't think of it as selling, because I don't, that, the, I don't like the vibration of that word selling. So, so myself and my team, we try to think of it more of, I'm, I'm educating and informing. So that, oh, that feels so much better. I'm educating and informing. And if it's for you, great. If it's not for you, that's okay too, you know? Because uh, I know it will be for somebody. And so, again, it's just a, a changing of the, how, how are you looking at that? How are you looking at that? Some people, you know, are afraid of network marketing. Oh, I, you know, I, they don't know much about it, but they're, they're afraid of it. And I say, okay, well, I'm open to anything. Like, I'll, I'll, let me learn about it and form an opinion. Again, it's just a changing of perception that will change the outcomes, I promise you. Well, you mentioned earlier about uh, studying with Bob Proctor. I've never studied with Bob Proctor, but I have like watched his seminar, listened to him, and and um, he is so uh, adamant about the how much this this network marketing is the way of the future. I, I, he he is so supportive. Tony Robbins, there's so many of these powerful people that I have, you know, Googled and listened to and, and went on webinars and I, it's like, who am I going to listen to? Am I going to listen to somebody that was afraid to do it like I once was when I didn't know anything about it? And so I just, nope, this isn't for me. Or was I going to listen to people that really have made a success in, in helping others do it. And I thought, I had to shift the way I was thinking. And then I thought, I really need to know more. I really need to know more. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's, that openness, it's that openness and willingness to explore that is, and you know, as you said, you have to listen inside. If your insight's telling you, 
look into it, then look into it. And, and if it's not, that's okay too. But I, I'm, I'm certainly glad that when this, uh, this opportunity knocked on my door, Penny, that um, it, was, it was knocking so loud for me, I, could, I had to open that door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I love that because there's been times in my life where I've left that door shut because I wasn't dressed <laughs> or wasn't ready or didn't think I was. And, and you know, the, the beauty about this too is the, the cost investment to start up your own business is negligible yeah. in the whole scheme of things. You know, you could, you could run your own business. You could buy a Tim Hortons outlet or you can, you know, open a Starbucks if you have, you know, $500,000 lying around. But just the, the ability to start up your own network marketing business, the cost is negligible compared to the opportunity that is presented to you. Absolutely. Oh. <laughs> I would say, Penny, that if anyone is listening that uh, would like to find out more, that they contact you and, mm -hmm. and find out more about this opportunity that, uh, that we're talking about. And I think, Penny, that you know, for those people that are listening, Law of Attraction has brought you to this, to this Google Hangout for a reason. You're, you're hearing this message for a reason, just like I heard it, just like Penny heard it. You're hearing it now. Um, and so I would say to you, keep an open mind. Keep an open mind. The universe is, is you've heard, you're hearing these words for a reason. Keep an open mind and learn more and see how it feels for you. Mm. Yes, thank you, Marlene. And I look at it too, I've been doing these Hangouts well over a year this is my 49th hangout and you know I I'm in front of this camera every week sharing my heart sharing my stories sharing my ups and downs and sharing the things that that I feel benefit me but I also feel would benefit others and that's why I just felt like I wanted to do this tonight with you Marlene I mean I didn't really know where we're topic of conversation was going to lead to, but I, I knew I wanted to talk about opportunities and how they can land in our laps when we're just open to them. Yeah. And Jeunesse Global has just been, the company is phenomenal, the products are phenomenal, the support system is phenomenal, and that's the whole thing about it needs to be in alignment. I wanted to find something that I would be able to help the lives of other people, whether it be you know something that's going on inside them that they need to find hope and, and a solution for or for their business and um this is the one for me so thank yeah. you marlene for introducing me to jeunesse my pleasure <laughs> and you know the, the nice fit with law of attraction too is as you mentioned penny there are so many um so many leaders in the self-help industry that are such great proponents of network marketing and the reason why penny is because when you run your own business then, and you are the, the, the sole owner of what happens here, your business can only be as big as, as you're able to be, right? It, it, you're, you're only as big as your beliefs are. And so there's a huge component of it that is so um, self-help oriented, is so law of attraction oriented, is so mindset oriented, that the fit between the two is beautiful and there's lots of support. Um, from a mindset perspective as well as from a product and guidance perspective that also made the industry I think a good match for both you and I as well <laughs> and I just I'm gonna say this as nicely as I can but <laughs> I think people on our team Marlene have a really good advantage because we learn so much about how to incorporate the law of attraction and how to switch our mindset, how to change the words we use, how to get clear on what it is they want. And we can really shift that things just, people are just like asking them, can I be on your team? Can I be on your team? Yes. Yes. <laughs> because we have that good, um, that coaching law of attraction training that's very, I think powerful when it comes to attracting things that you want in your life. So. Yes, and then people will sense that, Penny. People will sense that. They'll sense that in you, and they'll they'll be attracted to you because that's the way it works. Hmm. So. Well, Marlene, we have gone over. Yeah. <laughs> Go figure. <clears throat> so, excuse me. So, you have been watching episode forty-nine of the Hangout with Penny show with my special guest co-host Marlene Keys. Next week, episode 50, we are 
oh, we're going to be talking with a professional photographer, uh, Kim, and she's going to, through her experience, we're going to talk about why we have such a fear of getting our picture taken, taken, why we don't want to be on camera, why, what is it? So she's such a beautiful person and she's going to help us ease up a little bit so that next time someone says cheese, <laughs> we say cheese. So, <laughs> uh, so that's episode 50 next week. I have a full schedule coming up. I have lots of guests coming up for the next, uh, right to the end of October. So uh, I was sold for a while, and now we're going to be having lots of people share all different things. So Marlene, do you have any last words for our viewers? I see there's they've hung in with us, Marlene. So <laughs> well, thank you, Penny. I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm so grateful that our paths continue to cross. And uh, I would say for those people listening who, if, if any of this has struck a chord or feels familiar, uh, you know, we would, we would love to talk with you further because uh, we've got a great thing going here, Penny. We really do. Mm. Thank you for having me. Mm. And, yeah, and it just reminded me of, um, oh, the name just escaped me. You may, you may, it may come to you. And he was a huge, huge in network marketing. And he said, I just wanted to let people know, his friends and his acquaintances, I just wanted to let them know about the opportunity because I didn't want them coming back to me a year later saying, why didn't you tell me about this? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jim Rowan. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Yeah. And you know, Penny, there'll be some, there'll be a day not too long from now when people will say, "I knew Penny when." That'll be coming soon. <laughs> well, yeah, I love to travel, you know, and um, this is a good opportunity too because there's so there's so many opportunities in global in, in Genes Global to to travel and to get to meet other other people around the world because they're global so. you can have a business anywhere you can have a business in over there in over 114 countries yeah yeah so. okay well thank you marlene thank you, i love you and uh, yes our our paths have been together and <laughs> so yeah so thank you very much everybody you can uh, message me if you're interested in learning a little bit more. Marlene and I, or I, you know, myself, or the two of us, we can get together and explain a little more to you. So thank you, everybody, and we will see you next week, episode 50. Bye.